Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi, my name is Dr. Ani Hermansyah. I'm an academic and a researcher at Faculty of Pharmacy at Langga University Indonesia and also the Secretary of Innovative Pharmacy Practice and Integrated Outcomes Research or INACOR, one of the leading pharmacy research group in Indonesia under the affiliation of Faculty of Pharmacy at Langga University. My research areas focus on investigating pharmacy practice change, particularly in Indonesia, and the development of pharmacy practice within the Southeast Asia and Pacific region. Within the past decade, we have witnessed the changing landscape of health and pharmacy system in Indonesia, presenting a powerful pressure for pharmacy and pharmacy to change. The aging population, the increasing costs for healthcare, along with the progressive medical, pharmaceutical, and information technology have added more pressure for pharmacy sector and its practitioners to seek ways to change their particular practice. Now, pharmacy practice has been under a dramatic transformation since 1990 with the move toward pharmaceutical care, emphasizing the responsible rules of pharmacies in promoting patients' quality of life, and I believe this is just the beginning for another milestone in pharmacy practice and therefore uh, the idea of learning and implementing change in pharmacy can be the answer. My research is founded on four pillars, pharmacy informatics and technology, evidence-based practice, access to quality medicines and services, and finally policy advocacy and recognition of pharmacy roles. These are the formula of success for the pharmacy sector to adapt to the changing situation and better contribute to healthcare in a broader scope. Now, technology is a game changer nowadays and pharmacy practice is not immune to the impact of digitalization and information technology in general. Generating evidence and creating a practice based on sound and robust evidence is a call for future pharmacy practice. Alleviating the barriers for providing quality medicines along with responsible services are no longer expectation. They have become a demand for patient care. In addition, pharmacy and pharmacies need to be culturally and structurally recognized for their potential and contribution, which is why advocacy is critical. I think Understanding these four pillars is significant to enable pharmacy to change because they have been interconnected and interacted in the past and is likely to keep continuing in the future. So I'm pretty sure that if pharmacy wants to move forward, they have to adapt and adjust within these four issues. And these are the real world questions for pharmacy practice change. That's why my research focuses primarily in this area. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi